Charles, there's some fun about increasing block size doesn't really increase the amount of polluted smart contracts per block. Could you please talk about that? It's a lie. Um, if you increase the raw amount of storage the block has, you of course can have more scripts in that block. Um, now, there are some limitations about the total amount of computations per block, and that obviously can be increased as well. But then there's always a question about network propagation uh, based on those parameters. So it's a complex issue. We released a blog post about it, uh, but I'm not worried at all about throughput in Cardano. In fact, I think the extended UTXO model is massively paralyzable. At the end of the day, there's going to be outsourceable computation long term, three, five years into the future you're going to have a situation where 99% of your computing is done off chain and it's checked with proofs on chain that it was done correctly and it's done in a distributed way. So Alice does a different computation than Bob, than a different computation than Eric and Jim and Jane and Bill. Okay. So that can be done privately. It can be done with different trust models, but at the end of the day, as long as you have a proof that the outsourceable computation was done correctly, that's all that matters. And that's what's checked on chain. So you have a scarce resource on chain, unlimited distributed resources off chain. That's the model that makes sense. There's other models, but uh, you're boiling the ocean if you try to chase global state. It makes no sense at all. But you know, there's just enormous amounts of FUD. I, many people don't even understand how extended UTXO works. So they criticize it and I'm like, okay, 